Why did the computer catch a cold? Because it had too many windows open. Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. Also, thank you for the 30 million downloads. Today, I'll talk about my very first computer and compare it with modern tech. Before we start, get the transcript for free at speakenglishpodcast.com slash podcast. Have you ever thought how computers have changed over the years? Well, I have, and I want to share my experiences with you. I will start with the parts of the computer. First, the mouse. A mouse is a small device you move on your desk. It's like a digital pet that helps you control your computer. My mouse was big and had a ball underneath. It wasn't small and smooth like today's mice. It had a cord that often got tangled, but I liked it. I used it to click on things and move around on the screen. Well, nowadays, we have some other ways to do the same thing. Many laptops have a flat area below the keyboard called touchpad that you can use your finger to move the arrow around. It's like a tiny built-in mouse. Some computers now let you touch the screen directly with your finger to control things. This is called touch screen. It's just like using your finger to tap or swipe on your phone. You can also use a special pen on some computers to point and click just like you used to do with the mouse. Next, let's talk about the screen. The screen is like a computer's TV. But the ones I used in the past were different from today's flat screens. My old screen was big and not flat like modern screens. It looked more like a big, heavy box on my desk. The pictures and words on it didn't look very clear. They were a bit fuzzy, not sharp like today's screens. Nowadays, screens are much thinner and lighter, showing pictures and words much more clearly. So things on the computer look better now. Now, let's talk about the keyboard. A keyboard is like a big board with many buttons you press. Each button has a letter, number, or symbol on it. It helps you type the words and tell the computer what to do. The keyboard I used back then had all the letters and keys you need, just like today's keyboards. But it looked bigger and the buttons were a bit farther apart. When you typed on them, they made a clicky sound, unlike today's quieter keyboards. So even though the old keyboard looked and sounded a bit different, it did the same job as the ones we have today, helping you type and control the computer. Well done! You're getting really good at learning computer words in English. I will talk more about computer parts and new options in a future episode. So keep listening if you like to learn about this topic. And now, let's continue with a mini story. I will tell a story by asking simple questions. I used this technique a lot in my premium courses, as it is highly effective. First, I say a phrase with information. Then I ask questions. After each question, I pause. 
Now it's your turn to answer. And after each pause, I'll give you the correct answer. That's how I create our story. And if you want to improve your fluency much faster, check out my premium courses at speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. There are several levels. Okay, let's start. When Georgie turned 12, she got a special present, a computer. Did Georgie get something ordinary or special? Special. Georgie got a special present. What did she get for her 12th birthday? A computer. She got a computer. When did Georgie get the computer? When she turned 12. She got it when she turned 12. Who got a computer? Georgie. She got a computer when she turned 12. Her computer, running Windows 95, made her really happy. Did the computer make her sad? No. The computer did not make her sad. It made her really happy. What made her happy? Her dog? No, no. Her computer. Her computer made her happy, not her dog. Which operating system was the computer running? Windows 95? Yes, the computer was running Windows 95. Was it a tablet that made her happy? No, it wasn't a tablet. It was her computer that made her happy. Georgie used the computer for schoolwork, saving her work on floppy disks. Did Georgie use the computer to watch movies? No, she used the computer for schoolwork. What did Georgie save her work on? On a CD? No, no, Georgie saved her work on floppy disks, not on a CD. Did she save her work on a USB drive? No, no. She saved her work on floppy disks. Who used the computer for schoolwork? Georgie. She used the computer for schoolwork. Even as technology advanced, Georgie still loved her first computer, with all its memories. 
Did technology stay the same? No. Technology advanced. Did she still love her first computer as technology advanced? Yes. She still loved her first computer even as technology advanced. Did Georgie stop loving her first computer when new technology came out? No, no. She still loved her first computer when new technology came out. Who loved her first computer? Georgie's family? No. Georgie loved her first computer, not her family. Great job finishing this short exercise. You're on your way to improving your speaking skills, just like in a real conversation. Today, you've seen a small sample of how questions and answers can help you. And if you're serious about learning English, get my premium courses. Visit speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. That's all for today. See you next week. Bye-bye.